Hey, what's up, everybody? I'm Praetorian, and welcome back to Crusader Kings 2 as we are doing our roleplay series as the Lusignan Dynasty. All right, so we're back after not having a video on Monday. I should have mentioned that in the last episode uh, that we typically don't have videos on Mondays with the exception of if a series is like just started, which is why we had one for this series last Monday. Uh, and that's just because I work uh, for most of the day on Sunday, though I did get home a little bit early on Sunday. I ended up uh, not feeling too good, so I just went to sleep. Uh, so yeah, um, we're back here on Tuesday. Uh, we left off uh, in this war with England where we are attempting to help out the best we can, but there are some fairly large armies here, uh, so we're having some difficulty with that. Um, before we continue with our conflict, I would like to appoint a, how, a high almoner. Uh, I just really want to give Guy a position to try and get his opinion of us uh, into the positive, and that should be just enough to get him at zero. Uh, and then we're also getting some penalties for, that should start going away, like the tyrant penalty uh, and the short reign uh, penalty will go away as well. Get us into the positive uh, with him. And remember, we're still trying to sway him as well. All right, so I don't think there's anything else we need to do up here right now. Uh, we're still attempting to get a physician. I don't know if we can, no, we can't do that yet. We just did that. We've been getting really bad, uh, candidates for the doctors man they just have not been great all right so they have decided to siege down our uh capital okay well that's a damn shame well hopefully we get some assistance from the rest of the french because yeah i can't defeat them by myself not with my little army here uh yeah that's unfortunate all right so let's just go ahead and, and attack into their lands uh, i want to say we are at war with all of yeah all of this here so what we'll do Get us stay as far away from that large army as we can and just attack right here. Uh, I think that would probably be for the best. Uh, so we'll try and siege this down. Uh, they do have a lot of defenders, but obviously we have more. Uh, so we'll siege that down and then we'll just have to let them take our province. 21,000 uh, men. There's not really much we can do about that. Uh, it seems that there's also been a peasant revolt against the emperor. All right. That's a terrible time for that to happen. Uh, and our court chaplain. The blind man has died. Uh, he died from complications of being blinded. All right. Not sure uh, what happened there, but he's no longer with us. Uh, so, yes, that's right. They have risen up, the damn blasted traders. In fact, they have risen up in our own lands here. Oh, wow. That's a shame. Well, we could engage them. But, yeah, that is not really desirable. That is... Yeah, it feels like we don't have any other choice, though. Um, I, I think if they take the, the fortification, maybe we'll stay here and try, try and see if we can't get this siege one. But I want to say if they take it, then you get a negative modifier here for a while uh, if the peasants take it. So that would not be good. So I, I think we'll try and take that province just to help with the war score. And then after that, maybe we'll attack here. But we also risk being attacked if we, we go to battle here. They're not that far away. We probably wouldn't be able to escape. Uh, so, and you know what? They are rebels, so I think that means they're at war with everybody. So England might end up fighting them, which would be quite beneficial to us. Um, so uh, let's go ahead and appoint a new court chaplain here. Uh, I want somebody with some good learning. Uh, yeah, we can appoint this guy. I suppose he likes us as well. Uh, oh, he's a wicked priest. Oh, all right. Well, maybe we don't want to appoint him. No, he's not a good man. Let's do, I guess we'll do this guy, but man, he does not like us. He doesn't even want to be a counselor, so it doesn't help us at all. You know what? We're just going to go with this bishop here. It's fine. He's not the best option, uh, but yeah, it'll work out nicely, I think. Overall, it's better than having a wicked priest there or somebody who doesn't like us. Let's just go ahead and speed it up, guys. Uh, and there's an outbreak. Killed some of our dudes, or killed some of their dudes, actually. Uh, and yeah, they're now down, dropped down to 19,000. That's a ton ton of dudes that are dead. Uh, perhaps it's time to ask Count Guy to spend some time with me. It's probably the fastest way for me to gain his trust. Yes, I will ask him. Continue to sway him to my cause. And once again, the bandits have raided there. They are losing a lot of men, probably because they have so many men there. Uh, just taking a look at it right now. I and mean, we're holding out okay. Um, but yeah, they obviously vastly outnumber us. Uh, Guy was happy to oblige me. Thank you. All right, so uh, I think these days have really helped me getting, or really helped me getting Guy to know and appreciate me better. We have passed most of our time in my palace discussing the most uh, most disparate topics. Uh, so this option is available because we have the chase trade. Um, and then this is, you're a lot more tolerable than I thought. So that would provoke him. Uh, let's go with this one because it increases his opinion even more. Yeah, and now we're back at uh, zero. I don't know how we got the negative 10. Oh, yep, because we're once again owning too much lands. All right, 
Oh, nice. Uh, they have engaged uh, the peasant army for us. Excellent. Very good news. Uh, and they're once again leaving. Uh, so, yeah, they're not going to save this province first, but that's not surprising. We were expecting to lose that, unfortunately. Uh, there's just too many troops there. Uh, maybe we'll siege it back down. I think we'll stay here because we're almost done. Stay here trying to finish that siege, and it looks like they're marching up to the north, probably to fight that large, larger French army. Uh, I keep calling it French when really it's like we should be calling them the Latin army. And yeah, not as many men here. They they will win, of course. Um, but yeah, it was a much better fight overall. And there we go. Victory. Uh, so that is putting us in a positive right now. And we gained a bit of gold from that. We could continue sieging down. Um, but you know what? I think we're going to go ahead and try and get our own province back. I think that would be key. Um, unless they march down here to the south. Maybe I should attempt to assist them. Hmm, I wonder where they're going. Okay, well, we're already moving over to here, but yeah, if they engage them in battle, then we could... No, nope, never mind. Let me take that back. There's another army coming down here. Oh, that's a shame. Huh. We are in trouble. Oh, and what happened over here? Depending on your circumstances, you may want to create new vassal in the hold menu. Uh, oh, because we have this city in our hand. Yes, of course. Yeah, we don't want to... We don't want to hold that city. All right, I say we give it to Leonard. Uh, Leonard here, he's low-born, and that's fine. He's gonna be a mayor. All right, so let's give him the city so we don't have any issues here. Uh, and plus that does increase the size of our realm, which obviously we don't wanna do that just for a city. Uh, even if they do earn a lot of money. Um, oh, wait a minute, where are they going? Looks like they're gonna attack up this way. Uh, it does seem that they're gonna engage them there. I don't think we'll be able to get there in time. I will try. Uh, but yeah, if we got there, I think we might just outnumber them. Uh, but yeah, I think it might have already been too late by the time we get there. It's come to my attention that the Chancellor of Aquitaine, Prince Bishop Eric of Egan, has bribed and threatened us with... Oh, okay. Uh, they better not use it. Uh, Castle Walls has been completed. Excellent. Castle Holden has been completed as well. That once again puts us above our size here. Uh, so we're going to need to hand that off to somebody. You know what? We will deal with our titles and stuff later, guys. Uh, it's fine if we earn a little bit less money. Uh, so Godfrey has decided to go ahead and use a claim on my title. That bastard. All right, so did they, where'd they go? Oh, okay. Looks like they uh, got away. I didn't think they were gonna get away. All right, well, let's not try and fight that 14,000 men by ourselves. That wouldn't be smart. Of course, they're gonna attempt to take that province back down. Uh, so yeah, this ends up working out fine if we have to, you know, continue to take, um, you know, take provinces back as uh, after they take them. You know, it ends up being beneficial to us because of course the rest of the French armies can, you know, conquer English territories while we uh, keep these guys busy. Uh, so we are now known as the Cruel. Why? Why are we known as the Cruel? What do we do? Yeah, I don't know why we got that trade. Yeah, we haven't really done anything cruel. Maybe just because we're mad? Yeah, I don't even know what we did. Alright, well, whatever. That seems kind of odd that we got that trait, or that uh, epithet. Uh, I don't know why they're calling us that. We've done nothing cruel. Definitely not deserving of that, I feel. Uh, so when can we do the uh, looking for a court position? How much longer? Uh, yeah, it's every three years, so it's going to be a little while. Uh, looks like they did already take that province there, and now they're going to attempt to stop us from taking this province, which is, you know, which is a real shame because we're really, really close, but I don't expect that we'll get it before they get here. So it probably would be a good idea for us to take, uh, take our leave. Uh, yeah, they're definitely going to try and catch us. Let's get the hell out of here. Let's run. <laughs> they're going to try and get us. I think we should get away. Uh, perhaps I should use my Snit's military knowledge to impress Count Guy into like me more. Uh, yeah, I mean, I guess we could talk about strategy. Um, yeah, I suppose it makes sense. I don't know if he's going to be into it. He's not really a martial man. Oh, wait a minute. We did. We increased his martial ability, in fact. My dissertation on military matters was very appreciated, it seems. Count Guy thanked me for sharing my knowledge with him. Or maybe we didn't increase it. Just kind of odd that it was sitting at four, and then immediately after I picked it, it went to five. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, yeah, they're going to try and catch us. All right, well, we're already going this way. Let's get the hell out of here. Let's get out of here. We need to try and combine with the rest of the Latin army, uh, and they have decided to retreat. I'm not entirely sure. Oh, no, that's the small army. I'm writing to you with shocking news. Count Raymond of La Marche has uh, tried to have me assassinated to make sure I wouldn't discover his plot to kill Countess Constance of, uh, fuck, I don't know how to pronounce that. Why is he trying to, why is he trying to kill her? All right, so here's the Count, Countess right here. Uh, so she is right down here. Okay, interesting. Uh, I'm not entirely sure. Uh, this is the Countess that we looked at, uh, that we thought about arranging the marriage with, but we decided it was just too long to wait because she was so young. Uh, is she, is he the next? No? 
Yeah, I have no idea why he wants to kill her. Uh, maybe he doesn't have a reason. He just wants to kill a little girl for no reason. All right, so we can uh, reveal the plot or keep the information to ourselves. Let's reveal the plot. Even though he likes us, I think it would be useful to have that information on him. So it's still not in the known plot yet, so maybe it's maybe it just needs a load. Oh, yes, we should probably be paying attention to our army here uh, so I don't get in a position. Oh, okay. Uh, what I'm thinking that we'll do is just follow this army around uh, in the hope that if they engage us in battle, uh, we, it could be both armies, uh, both armies together against them. It does seem that they decided not to attack us, which was wise on their part. Although th this army has a lot less men, so I don't know, they might be able to beat us. But we're just gonna follow this army around for right now. Uh, and a guy has bought a favor from Jeffrey. All right. Uh, is our council still discontent? It seems that they are not. All right, excellent. Uh, so we have a new heir. All right, so we had a, a daughter. Oh, no, no. Okay, I see what happened. Our, uh, yeah, I was about to say, I don't, I didn't get anything about our wife being pregnant or, or anything. I had no idea what was going on. It seems that our, our brother, excuse me, um, has died or he has taken over as count. Not entirely sure. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not sure what happened over here. All right, so yeah, our mother is not dead yet. She is still the count, our countess. Hmm. Not entirely sure what happened. Why did our sister become... Yeah, I don't know what happened to him. Did he join an order or something? Oh, okay. He has joined a knight, knightly order. All right. I didn't see that. Yeah, he's in the holy order. So our brother has decided to join the holy order, which was super stupid since he was an heir. Uh, and that has now made our sister the heir. But of course, uh, she would not end up uh, you know, becoming our heir if our mother died first, because then she'd become the countess here. Uh, which would then result in our other daughter, our, or our other sister, our youngest sister, who was just born recently, uh, that she would then uh, become, oh, wait a minute. Maybe not. No, I don't think she would be able to become her heir. I have no idea. I think if yeah, something, if our sister ends up, you know, taking over this county here, then I think our heir would then become, uh, just take a look here. Yeah, it would then become the count over here. So if we don't have any children, now we're still young. We don't have any problems really other than being stressed. Still only 24 years old. I'm surprised we haven't had any children yet. We've been married for a couple years and yeah, still haven't seen, uh, seen us have any kids yet. All right, so once again, just gonna follow these guys around. Although we could probably engage in that 4,700 man army and defeat them. The problem is of course that, and we are winning the war, nice. Is that something that happened over here? Yep, that's all those troops over here that are, are sieging stuff down. Uh, we could defeat them. The problem is that this army is too close, so they would come assist them. So yeah, we don't want that. Uh, let's go ahead and go back. We're, we're now far, they're now far enough away where I think we could probably get this taken uh, before they're able to, to stop us. All right, so somebody else is trying to usurp my title. Uh, let's go ahead and, yeah, we'll just make them disappear. I suppose, I don't see, I don't see our character really having a problem with that. Yeah, not really. Uh, so the assassin succeeded, and the chancellor who was roaming around the county is dead is no more anyway, we're gonna try and take this this province back uh and then maybe maybe then we'll attack the uh small army here it looks like it's come down here to engage and we have a new heir all right so uh it looks like our mother has died just as we expected our sister has taken over and now that has ensured that she can no longer uh, become our become our new ruler uh, because you know she's in another realm. Uh, so that does mean that the count over here, who does have children of his own, he has a son right here. Uh, so this this will stay, you know, they will this family will stay our heir until we have children of our own. These three counties would come under our control if we ended up uh, switching to this kind of junior branch of the dynasty. Uh, so, so yeah, we'll have to see what happens there. It wouldn't be entirely a terrible thing. I'd prefer that we just had our own uh, kid, though, of course. Uh, he needs to get the fucking, man. Uh, it's been years now and still no children. I'm just taking a look at her, see, and make sure her traits haven't changed at all that might affect uh, us negatively. Yeah, it doesn't look like it. Yeah, nothing that would affect uh, our chance of having children. It started as an uh, uneasiness around guests and strangers that evolved into awkwardness and a strange feeling of discomfort. So uh, I don't want to meet new people and then we would gain the shy trait or I'll just have to be more gregarious uh, and that would result in us maybe losing a bit of health. Uh, I almost want to to go with the shy trait just because our, our previous character was shy, our grandfather was shy. 
Uh, but you know what? Let's let's try and be more gregarious. I mean, there's no reason why to to say that uh, one of these would result in us going, you know, with either one really. So yeah, I guess we'll go with the gregarious one since we were already a shy character before. Still 14,000 men up there. Uh, we did get victory here, so we did gain back our province. That's fantastic news. Gain back our castle. Uh, so that should help with the money situation at least a little bit and we're gonna want to go ahead and I'm gonna siege back You know what? Let's just siege this province here uh, Or we could go ahead and engage them here. I think that's exactly what we'll do. Let's do a battle battles do affect the war score quite a bit uh, so maybe this might uh, be more helpful than us sieging down provinces. Of course, we're probably going to lose a lot of men, but that's okay. I feel like it's worth it. Let's engage that 5,000 men just so we don't have to worry about them combining uh, against a, a Latin Empire force. Uh, we can recruit the court physician, so let's go ahead and do that now. And hopefully we do not have to wait long. All right, so we're going to get into this battle. Hopefully it goes well. Let's make sure all of our, yep, all of our generals are in command here. Uh, and I feel confident that we will defeat them with our 2,000... Uh, extra men. Uh, your scouts inform you that most of the skilled physicians are in a nearby village. Okay, so let's just take a look at him. He's pretty damn decent, though he is an impeller. <laughs> so that's something to consider. Uh, he's a detached priest. You know what, guys? I, I feel like this is fine. Maybe he'll teach us his ways of impelling. <laughs> yeah, I'm willing to take the... Uh, wait, let me look at this. Even though he lacks any formal schooling and supposedly is a raging alcoholic, uh, the villagers swear that he has been able to cure any ailment uh, afflicting them. This Albert could easily be persuaded to come take up residence in your court. Yeah, I'm willing to take the risk. Sure. And uh, hopefully he does a good job. Uh, so uh, we now no longer need to appoint a court physician, but we don't have a regent yet. Uh, I don't want to appoint any of them to the regency. Let's appoint somebody that we actually uh, like a bit. You know what? I can appoint Raymond. Sure. Let's make Raymond our regent. He likes us quite a bit. Uh, so yeah, I think and continue to improve in his opinion of us will be helpful. All right, so yeah, we're going to win this battle. Uh, it did look like we lost a little bit more than I would have liked, unfortunately. Yeah, we lost 1,300 men compared to their 1,700 men. But we have won the battle. Uh, let's go ahead and move to this province and try and siege it down. Uh, see if we can't, can't grab it up. Uh, yeah, we defeated them. That has ticked up war score a little bit, but not as much as I was expecting, honestly. I was expecting a little bit more uh, of a tick there. Uh, it doesn't seem like they're having a lot of success up here getting the war score up, unfortunately. Yeah. All right, so maybe I should write a letter to Count Guy. Sure, let's do that. Send a short and concise letter. See what we can do to make him like us more. And he has not responded. Well, what a dick. That's just rude. All right, so we're sieging this province down here. And taking a few provinces, I think, should help with the war score. Just trying to get this this uh, war won uh, for for our king here. And it does seem that um, the army might be coming south. Um, well, hmm, I don't think. Yeah, I, I really don't think uh, we're gonna be able to get this done before he gets here. Yeah, I think he'll be here very very soon. We could try, but like I said, I don't think. Yeah. 4th of March, and then he goes there to lose Yeah, and then he has two more provinces. I don't think we'll get it done, guys, and we're risking losing our army uh, if we stay here. So let's just move. Let's get the hell out of here, guys. Let's uh, move down here. Try and get as far away from that army as possible. Yeah, he's clearly coming this way. Yeah, that would not... We There's no way we would have got that done in time. All right, let's go up this way. Although... Hmm. He could attack us from right there. Yeah. Okay. Wait a minute. <laughs> I don't think this is going to go well for us. This was a terrible uh, area to go, and I should have went this way. Because, uh, yeah, he's in a position where if I move here, I'm pretty sure he'll be able to attack me. Uh, we're going to have to move further away, which requires us to move down south. Oh, that's a shame. <laughs> All right. So we're going to have to go into Spain. Um, yeah, I don't think this is going to be effective. I mean, we might be able to get over here in time. Yeah, it looks like he decided to siege that province down. Yeah, let's get the fuck out of here. All right, so we, we lucked out there. Uh, so let's let's get over here, and then we'll attack that province, I suppose. Uh, and maybe we can get it done before. I don't think we would, though. Uh, my tenth study of warfare has led to an increased understanding of tactics and strategy. So we have now uh, moved from misguided warrior, uh, which you know does have some very small benefits, but really we lose learning there, to the tough soldier, uh, which is going to increase our martial by two, and our combat skill by one. All right, excellent. All right, so that's overall better. Marshall will sit in at 18 now. 
All right, so we're gonna come over here and try and seize that province down, see if we can get it done before they get that done. Still sitting at 28%, overall having some difficulty getting this war completed. And we have a budget deficit, which is affecting our troops. All right, well, that's a damn shame. It looks like we're gonna have to do something about that. We're gonna have to get money from somebody. So we can borrow 300 from the Templars, or, well, really, from any of the Knights, so it does seem that they don't have, they either don't have the personal wealth or they don't like us enough. Yeah. So what about the Jews? Can we borrow the money from the Jews? Yes, so let's do that. All right, that should help us at least get through the war, hopefully. I don't know, I guess we'll find out. All right, so yeah, they're sieging this down here. Uh, we're still working on this this fortification there. Overall though, I'm, I'm quite surprised that we haven't won this war with their army largely just bouncing back and forth across France and not really doing much. Uh, you would have think that this would have went a little bit better, uh, but it hasn't. So we could spend some of that money we just got to get the viticultural technology points and increase prosperity. And you know what? We don't have the money to do this, but I'm going to do it any damn way. <laughs> it was probably a stupid decision to do that. Probably not worth it. Uh, but we did it any damn way. Let's go ahead and spend some of our points here. Uh, we could go ahead and get construction. Yeah, let's get construction. Uh, we could also get... Okay, I was going to say that we could get military... Uh, well, yeah, I guess we could do military organization. Uh, yeah, we'll do that. Get military organization as well. Uh, and then, of course, we have the cultural advances, too. Uh, so let's do that. I wonder why this is not actually increasing our feudal vassal opinion. Uh, yeah, it's at plus zero. Okay, I'm not entirely sure. Normally, it would increase it. Uh, so let me just take a look see if there's anything else we want to do. Could do uh, majesty, of course. Uh, I think that might be the best one for us to do right now. Yeah, let's do, let's do majesty. All right, excellent. So that should help us gain piety and prestige a little bit quicker. Uh, so we did finish up that siege. Wasn't too sure about that. Glad to see that we were able to complete it before they did. Uh, and yeah, let's go ahead and write another letter to Count Guy. We're just bugging the shit out of him with our letters. Uh, and he has not responded. <laughs> uh, he's probably getting sick of all the damn letters that his duke is sending him. Uh, Theobald. Uh, oh, this is their uncle. Okay. Uh, looks like... Okay, so he was... He was the brother to our mother. Uh, so, he is such a caring uncle, always ready to lighten up the mood during a somber family dinner or play with the children. Even though we may disagree from time to time, I can't deny his accomplishments as uncle. Uh, so, yeah, we'll uh, say it's rare indeed. Increase our opinion of him. Uh, which, by the way, let me just take a look here. Where is he the Earl of? Oh, okay. He's in England. That's right, our mother was uh, you know, from England, even though her culture wasn't. Uh, she was in the English realm. Fish, 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 straight from the ritter, river. Fruits and vegetables a day or two old. The clergy in Bourbon is not happy about the merchants setting up stalls in all the church uh, squares and demand that it be forbidden. So we can agree, gaining piety, uh, and then that would reduce the city tax and uh, make the bishop happy and the mayor uh, not so happy. Or we could say they do not harm, let them stay, and that would anchor the bishop. Uh, just taking a look at how we would probably feel in this regard. Yeah, once again, I don't really feel like anything would uh, move us one way or the other. Let's just say we agree in game of piety. Uh, it looks like our prestige is definitely much higher than our, our piety for this particular character. And looks like... All right, so good job, man. Uh, so we have sieged uh, the next location down, the city. Uh, so there's still a church there, so we'll siege that down, take the money there. And... We are ticking war score up, but not by much, guys. It's, we're at 25%. I'm, I'm really surprised. It's 30, okay, 37 now. As I said before, I'm just surprised that we haven't really had better results up here in the north, uh, you know, in England, uh, that they haven't really done much when it comes to the war score. I've noticed Marshal Count Raymond's hard work and everyone seems to like him. I'm deciding between having my Marshal heighten the morale of the troops or try to recruit more soldiers. Well, uh, either way, the prosperity uh, is increased and I, I think we should probably do the the morale of armies for right now. Let's let's raise up uh, the the levies here. It's not a lot. Uh, let's have them come over here and combine with this army. I, I almost want to go ahead and pull up our vassal levies as well. You know what? Let's do that too. We need all the assistance that we can get. So let's pull the vassal levies up. And uh, this would also make the sieges go a lot quicker uh, too, or a little slightly quicker. Uh, and of course it allows us to stand against that 13,000 men a little bit better But really we it's the numbers are so low that it would be pretty much irrelevant Let's go and merge all these guys and then let's attempt to take we have to do it somewhere far enough away from him uh, We'll probably do it 
Let's go. I feel like this is risky. Let's go to our capital. And we'll have to siege that province. It's got to be one where... Oh, wait a minute. It looks like he's leaving. Okay, I don't know where he's going. But you can see that his numbers are much, much less. Yeah, not great. Let's go and, and back off here. Uh, let's see where he goes. At age 38, your acquaintance has died of poor health. Okay. So, let's try and stay the fuck away from this guy. And yeah, he's coming up this way. Maybe to engage over here. Uh, I've had trouble with the vassal of mine. Tried everything I could to think to help us get along better. Chancellor Mayor Charles managed to do in one day what I struggled with for several weeks when, I, when he told me uh, to just ask the vassal for, for, for forgiveness. That was all that was needed. Uh, so, Chancellor Mayor Charles must be rewarded for this, and that would uh, result in us losing 15 gold, which, yeah, we are so broke. <laughs> we are just really broke, man. Uh, or we could just say it's his job, uh, and either way, it looks like, um, okay, he'll be slightly disappointed with that. Uh, let's just say it's his job, uh, because, yeah, we don't, we don't have that money. Uh, we are just absolutely broke. Good God. Yeah, we got like a month left of money left. Uh, and Leonard has called in his favor. Okay. Uh, so, yeah, this, this uh, war is proving to be quite costly. And it hasn't been effective. It's just been a long conflict that just hasn't been going well. And yeah, we're going to fall in the negative now, guys. And there's really nothing we can do. We already asked for money from the Jews. So there's nowhere else to get money from. Uh, there are many legends about the great man whose blood I share. A particular story has been circulating at court lately. It focuses on an epic feat where Hugh proved his strength of character. The more the hear, the more I wish to emulate him. Uh, so we can get his shy trait uh, if we wanted to. Uh, and then we'll increase vassal opinion from emulating the legend, but no. We've already decided we haven't, we're not going to be a shy character if we can avoid it. Uh, Earl Joseline is trying to... Okay, so let's go ahead and try and assassinate, assassinate him again, see if that's successful. And the jousting list has been built. Excellent. And the assassins have failed miserably. Okay. So let's go ahead and attack this 300 army. I'm not going to get the river penalty, so I'm going to move over here first and then attack. I know it's like 300 dudes. It doesn't really matter, but... Uh, and we lost the uh, stress trait. Excellent. All right, very good. Uh, so, money is a massive problem, guys. Yeah, because I don't see us. Yeah, I've been able to fix this at all for this war, anyways. Even with sieges, they, you know, it's just not enough to pay for the, the army. We'll siege here, I suppose, uh, in Bordeaux. And perhaps I should give my extent. Okay, so, yeah, let's talk strategy, though. So far, that has been ineffective. We've done this a couple times, and. It has not worked out. Uh, or, you know what? Actually, it might have worked once. I believe the one of your vassals can be discouraged from joining factions. Uh, so, I mean, there's no factions allowed anyway because he's on the council and the council is content. So we'll just do nothing for now. I think that's fine. Uh, my desertion on military matters was very appreciated, it seems. Count Guy thanked me for sharing my knowledge with him. All right, so it actually did work. Excellent. Uh, so that should improve his opinion by a little, at least a little bit. Uh, we're at 12 now. Uh, yeah, I guess we'll try it again. All right, so attempting to see down this province, we do need to watch that army in the north. Uh, and, uh, yeah, let's get another opinion boost with him. Fantastic. Uh, so, he is now at plus 21. Excellent. Uh, and it does seem that Mayor Leonard, who has done such a fantastic job as Spymaster, has unfortunately died. All right, so we need to get a new Spymaster. Uh, and it doesn't look like we got a lot of good choices. Um, of course, we have the physician... No, the Impaler, uh, but he's already a physician. Let's do the mayor here, even though he's fairly garbage. You know what? Maybe we should find somebody. I think that would be better if there's somebody out there willing to join our court of our religion, of our culture, and search all. Oh, wow, there's nobody. There's, like, nobody willing to come. Even if I do any religion and any culture, uh, there's not a lot of choices. There's some Englishmen. Uh, there's the French. Uh, you know what? We could take Constance. Oh, wait, no, they, they're, never mind. The whole reason why we're hiring them is because the intrigue and their intrigue is garbage. So, yeah, it's just a bunch of ladies. Um, yeah, we did men. Yeah, there's nobody. All right, so it looks like there's nobody willing to come to our court for whatever reason. So let's just appoint, well, I was going to say let's appoint him, but he doesn't really like us. So let's not make him spy master. Let's do Albert instead, since he actually has a little bit of an opinion with us. So let's go ahead and have him study technology in Paris. And where is the army? All right, what is this? Point commander. Uh, let's decline that. We're going to lead our own armies, guys. 
Uh, I have decided to institute the Riller Imprisonment Sovereignty Law. All that is needed is your support of yourself and your mind. No, we're gonna we're gonna decline this. There's no reason for us to vote for that. You can just imprison people without a council vote. Yeah, we don't want that. Uh, and they are sieging that province down again. That's a shame. Uh, and we don't really have the numbers to stop them. And it was uh, approved, unfortunately. Oh, good God. Because <laughs> we're so damn broke. Yeah, I feel like we're going to have to disband our armies after this siege. Uh, because we just can't continue to pay for it. Uh, we're just so broke right now. Yeah, I think we're going to disband our armies, unfortunately. Um, I did what I could to help out here, uh, but it just keeps declining. The war has just been extremely expensive for us overall. Uh, and so, yeah, I don't think we're going to continue. Yeah, I'm not going to not gonna do that for the count. But yeah, I think we're going to be done with this, this war. It's been too costly uh, for us. Let's just do the siege real quick, finish that up, and that's the best we can do. I almost want to engage in that battle, but yeah, I don't think it would be effective. We gained a little bit of money uh, from the siege, of course, and uh, support me in the council, Duke of Burgundy. Uh, and that'll get us a favor from him. Duke of Burgundy is fairly powerful. He's a neighbor as well. Uh, but we have a lot of favors that we're not even currently using at the moment anyways. Uh, we have, of course, the favor from our, our liege. Um, you know what? Let's, let's do that. Let's, let me just take a look here. Yeah, because we could, like, we could arrange a marriage with one of his children if we ever have some damn children. I don't know what's going on here. We are not having any kids. We are 28 years old. And not one kid thus far. Uh, yeah, let's let's go ahead and accept it. I don't know what he's going to do with it, but it would be good to have a friend in Burgundy. All right, so we're done here. Let's go ahead and... I think we will go ahead and attack right there. Although I think our morale is being impacted negatively right now. Um, yeah, I think, I think it does affect your morale quite a bit. Uh, let me just take a look here. Yeah, the 25% lack of funds would probably hurt us to the point where we might not be able to win. But since we're going to disband the army anyway, let's let's see if we can get a victory, because I really don't want to lose that province, if at all possible. Well, it looks like we're about to lose it anyway. Or we're going to lose the, the castle anyway. Yeah, there's no way to get there in time. Damn, that's a shame. All right, well, we'll engage in this battle, and then when the battle's over, uh, then we'll disband our troops. Looks like we did win, despite the morale penalty that we're facing. Uh, we had a little bit of superior in numbers. And the Children's Crusade has happened. News have reached us uh, that a boy from uh, Villac, uh, I don't know how you pronounce that, but uh, I'm going to pronounce it Villac, has received a vision from the Holy Ghost, compelling him to pick up arms and gather the true followers of Christ and lead a crusade against the infidels who desecrate the sacred soil of Jerusalem. The boy has gathered many followers amongst the peasantry and has embarked on a great journey to reach the Holy Land, claiming that the sea itself will open up for his passage. I have a feeling he is going to fail. Our good old voice of Jesus friend here. Yeah, I, I feel like he's not going to succeed, but we'll see. We'll see if he succeeds or not. Uh, we did get a victory there, uh, and that's going to be it for us, guys. Uh, yeah, there's no point on us trying to siege that province down, though, hmm, it's fairly weak. There's not a lot of troops here. Um, maybe we could attempt an assault. Oh, no, we can't. Uh, maybe, maybe it'll tick down quick enough where it'll be worth staying in, but yeah, the fucking funds, man. Uh, and yes, I will ask him. Yeah, let's stay here. It's it's fairly quick just because they don't have any numbers, any troops there. Uh, and he was happy to oblige me. All right. So this is the last thing we'll do, guys. Uh, and because we're angry, we got mad at him. Oh, Lord. <laughs> oh, so that fucked up our opinion of him. Yeah, he does not like us. We don't like him. All right, well, that's a shame. Let's stop swaying it. Well, you know, let's, we'll keep, keep it there. It's fine. Uh, our anger got the best of us, guys. Oh, and yep, 3,100, 3,200 more men coming down here. All right, and he's uh, collected a special tithe. Excellent. That's just quite helpful. We definitely needed that. Uh, so many financial troubles right now, guys. Uh, so we almost have the siege done. Fantastic. Uh, let's go ahead and attack here. I know I keep saying, oh, we're going to disband, uh, disband our troops. Eventually, guys. <laughs> let's let's just try and help out in the conflict as much as we can. Uh, so it does seem, yeah, we did win the the, the battle there. It was costly. Uh, let's go in and kill those 54 men over here, just because. Uh, on our way back up, as we uh, are getting ready to be done with this this conflict and victory. All right, so we're at 30% right now, and I think that's the best that it's gonna get. Uh, so let's go and disband our troops, so we don't have to pay them anymore. All right, so that should... No, we're still in the negatives. 
Oh, there we go. All right, so we'll, we'll have to wait until we get into the positives again and, and get a nice uh, bit of money in our coffers uh, before we're able to engage uh, in the conflict any further. And, you know, by that point, maybe the war will be over. I don't know. I suppose we'll find out. Uh, so I, I think that's probably going to be the end of this episode, guys. We also need to decrease our uh, problems with the vassals from us raising their levies. Uh, so that's another good reason to have our armies uh, disbanded right now. And yeah, and here comes another 12,000 men, too, uh, coming down here. So that army that's just been uh, bouncing around France. And where are the, the Latin Empire armies? Just these two here? Yeah, that's all that's left. And they just uh, haven't done enough up there, I feel. Uh, for you to have complete reign of England and, and just be able to roll over here with like no real opposition, I'm just shocked that they haven't haven't done more there. So the church wants to organize a miracle play for a local saint. Uh, so yeah, let's let's do that. It is for the glory of God, even though we don't have any damn money. <laughs> Never gonna get out of this this financial hole. Despite all adversities and many attempts to undermine his divinely inspired leadership, he's yeah he's been successful. With the Holy Land finally within reach, the Crusades have uh, resolve has been strengthened. All right, well. Good job. I still don't think you're going to... I don't think it's going to be successful. Uh, so, And I think that it can go either way. Like the Children's Crusade. Uh, like it could go, you know, historical or it could go a more like an alt-history route. Uh, so I think it can be successful or not. Uh, though, I think I've only ever seen it not be successful. Uh, that smooth and slightly multi taste refreshing with just the right amount of bitter. All these monks certainly know the art of brewing. Uh, so we must visit the uh, monastery more often, which would increase our learning. we spending so much time at the monastery, but we might become a drunkard. Well, I say let's visit the monastery more often. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> We're a drunkard now. All right, so our character is, yeah, he's got, he's got issues. He's got drinking issues. This is a figure. It's a 20%, and then we get the drinking issues. Uh, all right, well, nothing to be done about it. Uh, you know what? Because we're a drunk, let's look more like a drunk. Let's uh, see if I can't get something a little more raggedy looking. <laughs> uh, that's a raggedy ass mop. Let's go with let's go with that one. I think. Yeah, there we go. We'll go with this one, uh, and then we're also going to look more raggedy with our beard if I can. If I can find a raggedy beard. Yeah, that one looks. Oh yeah, that's great. There we go. <laughs> Very fitting for a drunk. All right, so uh, we just don't have time to shave any longer. Uh, so that is actually going to be the end of the episode, guys. Uh, pretty much just fought in this war. Really not much else happened. I think we can change our laws, though, if I'm not mistaken. So maybe I want to take a look at that. I want to say we can't increase centralization until 75, though. Uh, but we can. And if we did anything else, then it would be uh, five more years before we'd be able to increase centralization, which is definitely something I want to do. Uh, we really need to, to actually hand out one of these these titles. Probably that... There, there's no reason to be taking this penalty just from the uh, just from the barony that we have, I think, in here. Yeah, the barony that we have here. So it'd probably be wise to give that barony away uh, to somebody. No reason to take penalties from it. So we'll do that next episode, and then also uh, we will go ahead and probably change up a law, I think. Or try to, anyway. Let me just take a look here. Uh, the only one I could really see us wanting to do is, yeah, something along this line, like granting titles execution to be ruler based uh, it does seem that there's a lot of opponents to that so we would need to get multiple favors yeah this is just not worth it we'll wait until we can increase centralization in 75 which is 7th of may 1275 yeah this we'll wait for it guys could change something here as well but once again i, I don't want to wait two years to, to be able to increase this uh, so yeah i think that's fine uh, that's going to be the end of the episode if you enjoyed it make sure you leave a like on the video subscribe to our channel hit that notification bell and leave a comment and thanks for watching guys